prices high. because we're talking about this, right? And I'll tell you what, I could freak him out, man. I've seen my friend take a shot, man. We were all sat in the same room, about five of us. But when he shot his arm, it was just before I had gone to stick the needle in my arm. He just went out, man. I mean, he went out. His arm got a big hole in it. Blood came from his eyes, his nose, and his mouth. He OD'd because someone put battery acid in his syringe. It's, uh, and that's sick. Measure, look at, see, man, see where you're, you're where, yeah, see, yeah. Where, see, see where you're, uh, how, where your, see where your point's at. See where your point's at. Is it straight? Mm-hmm. There you go. A little high. You watching, Greg? Yeah. It's not There it is. Okay. Yeah, you know what I like about it is the taste and the rush when mm. you hit your nose and your mouth, man, it tastes so good. Oh, yeah. And then your the ears, they start ringing, and then you just start tweaking out, man. And you just start... I had a friend who used to bounce off walls, look under doors, because he used to think everything was going wrong. I know somebody that would kill somebody for this right here. You can actually, you know, you can hear that buzz. I mean, you, when you say you're going to get a buzz, you can, you hear that buzz. <laughs> The usual victim is a 26-year-old male and he generally has snorted the drug or he may have injected it but either way he goes for about 30 to 60 minutes with no particular problem and then without warning goes into grand mal type seizures and this is rapidly followed by respiratory collapse and death. You said it was this morning when you last saw your good friend Lying on the sidewalk with the misery on his brain Stoned on some new potion he found upon the wall Of some unholy bathroom in some ungodly hall 